welcome to another video. Today, we make another video, and we are going to do another mock draft. But if you're new, or it don't matter, you've been watching, whatever. We're doing a mock draft like normal, like we usually do. But, everyone, this time we're going to be drafting the player to the team. Example, right here. I'm drafting Evan Neal for the first pick. And I'm going to put down his height and his weight. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put his name down. And as you see, I got Aiden Hutchinson with the second pick. Because I had to remake this video like four or five times. I think this is my fourth, fifth time. So, I'm going to put it. So, then the first round, put his height, weight. Aiden Hudson height, weight. I'm going to do like this off camera. But I had it right here for like the other times that filmed. So, then I'm going to do that. I'm going to go on Madden 22 next gen. And I'm going to create all these players for the first round and see how my prediction of the mock draft will change their team in Madden 22. Now, we got these two. If you guys just want to see the mock draft, this all this video is going to be just the mock draft. So, you just want to see that, do that. I'm going to try to make both videos come out today. So, hope, so guys, like, subscribe, and put on the notice. Because that should hopefully be coming out today. If not, maybe tomorrow. But I'm thinking about doing that right after I finish this mock draft. Make sure we're still going. Let's get into it. First, second round, you already see Evan Neal, Aiden Hutchinson. Third pick, we're going to go with Kyle Hamilton. And like I said, off camera, I'm going to put his height and weight. I don't know what name. Next, we're going to put Akeem. After that, we're going to put Tib. After that, this is what, this is why I want to try this on Madden 22, because I was going to try it, but I was like, dude, I want to get some content out of this. And I think it'd be really fun for you guys to see, too. Honestly. Uh, next, we're going to have Charles Crops. After that, uh, uh, David Ajabo. Or Jermaine Johnson. I'm going to give him these. Okay. I'm going to do. I'm just going to choose David Ajabo because he's been more in this range longer than Jermaine Johnson. But I am going to have Jermaine Johnson. Can you pick it? I'm going to have Jermaine Johnson leave right here for the 10th pick. I feel like he's going to fit with this team. I feel like both of them do. I feel like uh, David should go first, in my opinion. I would choose him over Jermaine Johnson because he's been more in that range. He's been staying in that top 10 range, like, the entire mock draft time we've been doing this stuff. 11th pick, again, man, this is where Mad 22 will become very interesting. Matt Correll, comment down below what you guys think, like, overall rating should be. Even though I'm probably not going to see it, but just put what you guys think. Or just think what you guys think about this. I mean, I don't think I've seen anybody else do this off their own mock draft. Devin Stringley to Minnesota. They really went to getting... Um, Oh, excuse me. They really get from um, Andrew Boot to um, Garner to now Derek Stringley. Because, yeah, man. 13 pick. Uh, well, I was thinking Jordan Davis, but um, of course, Traylon Burks. They need a wide receiver after Odell leaving. Um,. What was I thinking here? I don't think I'm going to have George get off yet. Um, honestly, I believe this might be the first time I did this. I'm going to give them Jordan Davis. 
Eagles. We got two picks. Uh, Aheem. Then Devin Lloyd. Honestly. Um, this team, I feel, I do feel like Ty Lundbaum will be able to get to like the Eagles some, so that's why they give him off of the lineman. We'll see if I do give him one later though. Chargers, oh, let's see how fast we're going. Wow, golly, I never went this fast. We already see 32. Chargers, I was thinking cornerback. Trevor Penning. I mean, they do. I'm gonna give them Trevor Penning because they did. Ju- they did get um, Asante Samuel Jr. last time in the draft in the second round, which, in my opinion, that was a steal. I really want the Saints to get him because that was like one of like the main prospects that we were predicted to get, and I was really upset when we did. It. And um. That cornerback to the other cornerback that we we're expecting to get. Uh, what was the other? What were the two teams that made it to the uh, to the championship? And um, it was like Alabama and some other team. I'm not talking about Georgia. I'm talking about the year before that. I don't think it was Ohio State, huh? Clemson or something. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember. But that other cornerback, where I knew he was going to be trash. He was so bad on coverage. And they were like, oh, yeah, he's going to be a first-round pick. And then they were like, oh, you go against Devontae Smith, you're not going to be no first-round pick. I'm like, what? Shouldn't have been one to start it off. I'm going to have Jameson Williams go to the Saints. Honestly, I really hope that my team. I am a Saints fan. I really hope we get Jameson Williams. Um, everybody's like, if George Pickens was an injury, be number one. If Traylon Burks was an injury, be number one. They don't say that about Jameson Williams. Yeah, he done got himself all the way into the first round pit. First round, and he's amazing. You see Garrett Wilson going crazy, getting all these crazy catches. Guess what? Jameson Williams is taller than Garrett Wilson. Chris Olev, too. I believe Traylon Burks is tall. Taller. By, he's taller by an inch. And Drake London, 6'5. So, but this man is fast. He is a big dude. I really like him, man. I really like him for the sin. I don't believe they have a picture, yeah. But sometimes I always think there's a reason why why he wasn't over there with those Ohio State wide receivers like Chris Olive and um and Garrett Wilson. Why they never really played him and why that transferred. But he went to an even better team and won a championship. Or did they win a championship? But yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, they got a bunch of defensive players. That I think they should get Tyler in the bond. And I have them getting Sam Howell. I believe there's something about that where they like talk to him and like they're interested in Sam Howell. I feel like he's like kind of built just like Big Ben. Sam Howell's a big dude, if you ask me. 220. But man, I watched him in like an interview. He looks like a big dude. For real. But I believe that's like normal weight for QB. I don't know. Matt Correll, 205. Dude, I don't know. He just looks big. Matt Correll looks like an old man, bro. He got number tattoos. Well, no, he don't. But he got number of tattoos. And then when you look at his face, I, he just look. Uh, you know. Hey, but I like you, though. Don't get mad at me, my guy. Garrett Wilson. Very new wide receiver. Kendrick Bourne is so underrated. But I feel like that's kind of all they have other than Kendrick Bourne. But, man, you got to take off that 84, baby. (laughs) All right. They need a wide receiver, too. Ooh. I was on. I would honestly go for Drake London. And by the end of the year, man, all these injured people who are talking about going to make number one wasn't even in the first round. But man, they coming in there now. 
Maybe I'll switch these two. I don't know. Crazy how Garrett Wilson was number one wide receiver. Uh, I'm not saying like it's a bad thing. Andrew Boot. That's pretty nice of him to get him. 20, 23rd. Edge. Oh. Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. Trayvon Walker or George Carr. I can't say his last name, so I'll just call him Carr. Um, I kind of want to go with George. And O-lineman issue, I say in like every single mock draft video when it comes down to the Cowboys, I'm not going to give him someone like Kenyon Green or something or an outside because what happened is they have a rookie outside. Because the 49ers game was ridiculous. Dak had no time, I know. They had a right tackle, rookie right tackle, usually plays right guard. And he was too small, and he doesn't even like playing right tackle because he's too small, and there's big dudes rushing right past him. Because all they need is just just to go like this. And like you can't really stop the momentum versus the really big dude. It's hard. So And then the person who plays right guard doesn't want to go to right tackle. So he was just stuck there. I want to have Trayvon Walker. And then George Wright after. That's going to happen. Nothing. Linebacker. There goes Nicobe Dean. Oh my god, I almost pressed someone else. I almost pressed Roger McCreary. Even though that does seem like a name that would be with the Titans. Um Yeah, this team needs a wide receiver. Uh I think they're gonna get a quarterback. It's not going to be Brady. And I I don't know if Brady's going to come back. But if you guys know microphone, make sure I'm still filming. He made like a video talking about Brady left because he didn't because he didn't want to be with Bruce Arians, even though they had like a really close bond at the end of his career. I still didn't watch the video yet. I'm playing too, like, after I'm done with this. But they do need wide receiver because I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't think Chris Collins going to come back. I feel like Chris Oleff would really fit. Uh, George Pickens, that will – I think that would be a real good replacement for him. But I don't see him coming at the first round. I don't have Chris Oleff. I think they're going to get a quarterback, so no need to get, like, Desmond Ritter, Carson Strong. Yo, I'm just going to call it right now. Derek King. Underrated. Anthony Brown? Derek King under Anthony Brown? I don't know about that, buddy. All I'm saying underrated. And I'm also going to be reacting to my prediction on last year. I got a lot of views of giving my season predictions for next year, for for the season, before the season started. And now the season's over. I'm going to go react to that. I clearly got my Super Bowl prediction wrong. I had the Buccaneers winning it all. And I'm a Saints fan saying that. And, uh, yeah. I believe it was like Tennessee or either the Bills. And I had the Bills with a really good record. Oh, yeah, Devontae White out of Georgia. That's good. I think this might be my best mock draft I've ever done, honestly. Wait, what? They don't not now. I don't know about that. Maybe second round.
Zion Johnson. I hope I posted it where I did two drafts. Because I might have to delay this video if not. But I believe I did. If I didn't, then I don't know. I might just post both. I'm not sure. But then that would give less attention off this video. Less, I mean. Also, go watch my hot ramen video. Where I ate some hot ramen. That ramen was so hot. Yeah, they really don't need a cornerback. Mm. They might do a little reach. Cameron Thomas, Redaxon Hill, they need a safety? No. The same they don't. Christian Harris? They're just going to... Uh, what happened? Man, this is tough. I'm going to have him reach for Cameron Thomas. We always see a reach in the draft, and that's going to be one, I think. All right, everybody's saying they need a wide receiver. They need defense. Okay. We know they're not going to be better than last year if they just go and draft another wide receiver, honestly. If they do, it's probably going to be Juwan Dotson, who I'm not, honestly, not really impressed by. I for sure see him as a second string wide receiver. But this is a mock draft. Well, who I think they're going to draft. They're going to go for offense when they could have someone like Trent McDuffie. Roger McCray. But... Knowing them, they're probably going to go for something like that. This team needs something, too. I'm going to give him Trent McDuffie. That's going to be end of my draft. Uh, Maybe I could have switched a little bit up, like, from right here, 27th, to where we could have got, like, Trent McDuffie and Roger McCreary into the first round. Because they clearly deserve it. But we couldn't get um, Roger Mc, um But we couldn't get Roger in here. So I'm going to keep this mock draft. Write all the names down. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like, so do it. Jimmy Jabba. Remember. Never mind. I'm not going to say it. It was going to be like a funny joke. Motivation. But it's kind of messed up at the same time. But I'm not going to say it. It was something positive towards you guys. But I'm not going to say it. If you guys want to see the Madden 22 where I put all these players into Madden 22 and see who will be on top next year, see if the Washington football team makes the playoffs with um, Matt Corral if Malik Willis can make this pretty, honestly, pretty good Carolina team to an actual contender, let me know. If Trevor Lawrence could start doing better with the actual good offensive lineman. The defense gets a little bit better for the Texans. If Denver, who actually another pretty solid team, can get this. Oh, look, Malik Willis has a Panther. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Got right there. Kenny Pickett can make this pretty solid team good and see how much, how good he really is. And I don't know, we might do like a two, three year sim kind I'm thinking about. So, yeah. And, um, never mind. I'm not going to do that. If Sam Howell, if Sam Howell's actually good or not a butt. If Drake London could help out this tall man, like I said, he's 6'5". If he could help out this team. It's also a short mock draft video. 
So make sure. Oh no, it's twenty minutes. Lord have mercy. I was talking too much. If you guys like so do out of Jabba, put on the notice to check out the Madden video. I'm not gonna have a face cam. You're probably just gonna hear my voice. But yeah. Hopefully you guys like so do it at Jibba Jabba. Like I said, I keep on saying the same thing and we're making a longer video. But YouTube wants my videos to be longer. See you guys next time. Peace.